tender in my walk with God, but um, I realized I don't want to be a fence rider anymore. Because a lot of times when we ride the fence, we think we're not picking a side, but in this battle, we're picking the wrong side when we ride the fence. Mm. Come on, I heard someone say, Satan owns the fence. Yeah. And when I heard that um, a couple weeks ago, I was shook. And I was like, okay, I can't be a fence rider anymore. Yeah, come on, come on, sis. And um, this is the, I guess, what came out of that. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Sarah. Okay. Come on, Sarah. No one wakes up and decides to compromise. <laughs> no one has a dream to give up on the fight. But when everybody's watching, that's how you know if your words are true convictions or you're a blowing smoke. Mm. <laughs> Only you can decide how the story ends. Are you gonna pick a side or keep riding the fence? Are you gonna pick a side or keep riding the fence? Mm. I sat in my room wrapped in a lukewarm blanket, <laughs> enjoying the faux peace of someone straddling the line. With a false sense of security, thinking I was okay because I'm not as bad as that guy. Mm. What I thought was peace was actually compromise. I embraced God's still small voice when he said he loved me, that I was made wonderfully, and everything is working for my good. But my ears became clogged when he told me to deny myself and to endure suffering. See, come follow me was the call. And, it, and I was willing to follow until it led me to the cross. And suddenly I wondered, who, me? Is this really the path laid out for my feet? Because if I were speaking honestly, Lord, this is a little uncomfy. Mm. <laughs> Surrounded by believers is always an agreeable place. Mm. Because what faith is needed when everyone believes the same thing? Mm. But drop me in a room where feelings are king, where people worship different gods and truth is as fluid as the sea? Oh, wow. Then suddenly fear becomes an acceptable excuse to shush the Holy Spirit, to keep wavering in my loyalty, and just wait until next time for bravery. Mm. I thought I was launching to the beat of my own drum, being wise and relatable. I thought I was misindependent, but in fact, I was misinformed. Oh. My silence never spoke so loud. Yeah. That I was living for my own reputation, controlled by the critical eyes of people. Living my life based off of potential reactions and shrieking back, not realizing that being chained by other people's opinions is a whole nother form of enslavement. Whoa. Everyone doesn't have to agree that, or even believe, that Jesus is Lord. If God gives free will, who am I to take it? But why does it seem that others can take my Jesus' name in vain, question the validity of his divine word, and mock my devotion? Yet it's my feet that are sore from walking on eggshells, not wanting to offend or make other people upset. Why am I ashamed of my testimony? While everyone else so freely speaks their truth, I bury mine. There's no poetic way to say this, so I'll just say it. <laughs> Publicly ignoring Christ and privately embracing him oh. is letting Satan win. Oh. 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 Sitting on the fence, one foot in the world and the other in the church, mm. is full-on rebellion. Oh. And I'm standing here shaking in my boots because to stand for God is sometimes scary. Mm. Come on. But I'd rather be uncomfortable now than be in misery for eternity. I don't want to be a hypocrite, asking God to accept me flaws and all, yet I act like I don't know him because it's not on trend. Wow. And giving up on relationships and evangelism because someone in church hurt me is definitely understandable, but it's not acceptable. It's giving power 
joy to the offender, letting their wound keep me from knowing the ultimate healer, causing more damage than the original offense. The truth is, I want to be the exception. But somehow, I can walk this Christian walk without pain, persecution, or embarrassment. Always happy, comfortable, and agreeable. But when it comes to Jesus, there is no favoritism and no exception to the rule. Joys and suffering are both part of life to the full. I'm tired of straddling the line. How about you? Are you really doing all that God is calling you to do? Come on, sis. Are you following the scriptures or your emotions? Woo! Are you compromising the truth for your good reputation? Come on, come on. Because like I said, that's just another form of enslavement. And like everyone else, you find yourself hopelessly tossed around in the waves of public opinion. Wow. But with God, there is freedom in surrender. Joy in persecution, hope in suffering, and maturity in uncomfortability. Mm. Okay. And if that's not enough, think about this. Jesus died on the cross while you were at your worst. God chose you and proudly called you his. He has never once been ashamed of you. So why be ashamed of him? No one wakes up and decides to compromise. No one has a dream to give up on the fight. But when everybody's watching, that's how you know if your words are true convictions or if you're blowing smoke. Only you can decide how the story ends. Are you gonna pick? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Are you gonna pick a side or keep riding the fence? Are you gonna pick a side or keep riding the fence? Come on, wow. <laughs>